Hi, this is Eric with Product Sector, and today we're going to show you how to replace the door cable on your Samsung dishwasher. If you need to purchase a new door cable for your Samsung dishwasher, you can check out our website, PartsSelector.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The door cable attaches the door hinge to the door spring and assists in holding the weight of the dishwasher's door, allowing it to open and close smoothly. If the cable breaks, it can cause the door to slam open and the door may not stay in the open position. The door cables are sold individually, so if you are replacing both of them, you will need to buy two. Additionally, we recommend replacing both of them at the same time. In this video, we will be replacing the right side door cable. Note that the steps apply to the left side as well. First, disconnect power to the dishwasher. If your dishwasher has a power cord, unplug the dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to turn off power at the breaker before disconnecting the wires in the terminal box, which is located underneath the dishwasher. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink plumbing or garbage disposal. Then, feed the drain hose and power cord through the holes in your cabinet as far as they'll go. Next, turn off the water shutoff valve for the water supply line. Next, open the dishwasher's door and remove the screws securing the dishwasher to the countertop. If your dishwasher is side mounted, remove the screws from the cabinet, which may be located behind the cabinet seal or behind the plastic cap on the side of the dishwasher. You may need to lower the dishwasher's front leveling legs if it is too tight against the countertop. Now slide the dishwasher out from underneath the countertop, being sure to carefully feed both the power cord and drain hose through the holes in the cabinet. If your water line does not have enough slack in it to pull the dishwasher out, disconnect the water line from the house's plumbing and pull out the dishwasher. Or, if you're able to access the back of the dishwasher, use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the water inlet line from the dishwasher. With access to the back of the dishwasher, use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the screw or shaft from the door spring just far enough to slip the end of the cable off the spring. Then, remove the door cable. If you need to purchase a new door cable, you can check our website, partsactor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you are searching with the model number from the tag in your dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. For Samsung appliances, use the longer version of the model number listed on the tag, followed by a dash and then the version number if one is listed. For example, this dishwasher's full model number ends with a slash AA-00. To install, align the plastic side of the cable to the door hinge. Then, string the cable over the first roller, then under the second one, and reattach it to the door spring. Next, tighten the screw or shaft to secure the door spring in place. To reinstall, begin by installing the water inlet line to the back of the dishwasher. Or, if you have to disconnect the water inlet line from the house's plumbing, feed the water line through the bottom hole in the cabinet and reconnect it to the plumbing. With the dishwasher near the cabinet, feed the drain hose through the holes located towards the top of the cabinet and feed the power cord through the lower hole. Now, push the dishwasher back a few inches underneath the countertop and continue feeding the drain hose and power cord through the cabinet. Repeat until the dishwasher is in place. With the dishwasher's door open, align the holes in the mounting brackets with the pre-existing screw holes on the underside of the countertop or the screw holes in the cabinet if using the side mounting option. You may need to extend the dishwasher's front leveling legs to ensure a tight fit against the countertop. Then, reinstall the two mounting bracket screws. Reconnect the drain tube to the sink, plumbing, or garbage disposal. Now, plug in your dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to reconnect the wires in the terminal box and restore power by flipping the breaker. And last, turn on the water valve. Finally, test the dishwasher and check for any leaks. That's all for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.